Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tia Zamara here and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks to keep a cohesive aesthetically pleasing Instagram feed Why? Anyways, let's get into it all right you guys so if you are not new here you grew here you didn't fool here then you already know that i do a color series on instagram so far i have done like a nude slash brown kind of series this is how it looked i started to kind of like one color scheme not one color and so i did a lot of like nudes and browns and creams and tans and yeah and then i did a sage series here's how it looked and now i'm currently doing a black series and this is how it's going so i've learned a lot along the way you guys i, I learned a lot i've seen a lot and yeah, I, i'm out to share a lot so straight off the bat, let me just go ahead and say that my statements are going to be more so geared toward people who are, you know, in the fashion style realm. However, this can work for anybody, lifestyle, travel, food, whatever the case may be, nails, it'll work for you too. Um, and so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the tips now. So first things first, you're going to want to pre-plan your outfit. You don't have to take a picture in all of your outfits on the same day, even though that is something that I aspire to do. But you do want to actually see what the overall vibe is. That way you can know what to expect, you know, when building your page. Because you don't want to, you know, just take a picture in this cute outfit that's the color black today, and then a week later, take another cute picture in this other outfit that is black, and then it just be two completely different vibes. Because if you're anything like me, one day you look homeless, the next day you look bougie, the next day you look like a baddie, the next day you look like a businesswoman, the next day you look street. It's like, you know, the outfits can be a little bit all over the place. So you want to make sure that your outfits, you know, kind of all have like a vibe. Even if they're not the same style of outfits, that they at least just have the same vibe and you just know what to expect. I'm not in any way saying change up your style, stick to one style, because you know, I, I for sure ain't doing that. I'm doing me, y'all to y'all. But um, <laughs> you just want to know what to expect, which leads me to my next tip. Taking a picture in at least three of your outfits before you start posting on Instagram. That way you can plan which pictures look good next to which pictures. Because again, you don't know, you know, what style you're gonna be feeling like that day. You don't know if these like colors even look good together. If you're not doing a color series and you just wanna have like an aesthetically co uh, aesthetically pleasing, cohesive looking feed. So using apps like Plan, which is what I use, or like a bunch of other apps that allow you to like, you know, put all your pictures, load all your pictures in, just arrange them to like where you wanna put them at. Those really help and doing that really helps because you don't wanna start posting to your Instagram and then you go back to post the next day and then the next day it's like okay this picture doesn't even look right right here and now it throws off the whole thing and now i have to delete it and it's gonna just it's just gonna throw everything off and we already know the mess that that can cause so it's just better to be able to pre-plan like where you're gonna be able to put your pictures at and if you only take one picture like how you gonna plan what, what are you playing with it's kind of like you know you need multiple pictures to be able to start arranging multiple pictures um to see where they fit best at now the next tip and this is a tip that i learned in my sage series is to make sure that you are using the right filler pictures okay so in my like nude and like brown kind of color scheme series i had like more lifestyle pictures like pictures of like buildings and like you know the lotions and the body products and you know stuff like that like like around the house kind of like stuff like candles and you know books and stuff like that um and everything worked well tied in together if you were to come to my page you would think that this is a lifestyle kind of page and you know she just served us a look um however in my sage series <laughs> a lot of my filler pictures was like bathrooms teacup 
building like ha actual houses not even buildings like houses and cars and it's like hmm. although the sage series like you know if you look at just the sage series by itself it came together it just it just if you landed on my page um i could probably have to i i don't know you might be a little bit confused because it's like you know the individual pictures are given are given looks However, if you look at it as a whole, it's just like, what does she do? <laughs> so, um, I definitely had to realize that I need to start using the right filler pictures. Not just because it matches the color, um, but because it matches what I'm doing. So, if you notice in my black series, I actually uh, decreased the amount of filler pictures because I wanted more looks. Um, but the filler pictures helped tie everything in together. So I made sure that my filler pictures were like centered around fashion. And so yeah, you want to make sure that you have the right filler pictures that are related to your niche. And you know, everything just blends in and again looks cohesive. Now the next tip is going to be to use a preset. Now for those of you who don't know what a preset is, it's actually like a customizable kind of filter. And obviously if you use the same filter on every single post, your page is automatically going to be a vibe. Everything is just going to look like one thing, one of its own kind. So presets are done in an app called Lightroom. The, light, the app is free, or at least the version that I got was free. Presets, however, are free and then sometimes not free. So let me break it down for you. All right, so there are people who sell presets on Etsy, um, Facebook Marketplace, uh, and a bunch of different other websites a lot of youtubers sell presets and so the people who are selling them are pretty much people who have found presets that work good across a bunch of different pictures and they're pretty much like selling you a filter that they made however it can be free if you do one or two things you make your own <laughs> which can be a lot of work because although it may look right on this picture it may not look right on the next picture so you have to make it so that it fits on every single picture so you're gonna have to do a lot of you know you know how much contrast should i use how much vibrant should i use what color should i take out what color should i make pop out it's just a lot behind that and so if you have time for that you want to figure that out be my guest but i'm not doing that and i don't know if i'm gonna pay for one just yet either because you know if you do the right research the right amount of research you can find anything for free so what you can do is actually go onto youtube go into another tab don't turn this off okay and you can type in black preset brown preset chocolate preset denim preset white preset vintage preset whatever kind of vibe you're looking for and then just put the word preset behind it whatever kind of color scheme you might be looking for just put that color in and then put preset behind it and there are going to be a bunch of videos that pop up and there will be people who show you where to toggle what to to make that preset now this is also a long process but it's free so what do you expect you know you're going to have to go back and forth from the video or write down everything that the person did and then take it into the app and do those things yourself now one mistake that i made was i didn't know that you could actually like tweak the presets like I thought that changing, you know, one little thing would change the whole vibe, but it actually doesn't. So, in some of my pictures, they just, my it, it messed up the color of my skin, messed up how my makeup kind of looked, um, made my hair look a little bit more gritty or a little bit more shiny, and I still posted them because that's just me. I really got to stop doing that. I got to stop doing that. I will see that something doesn't look right and still post it or as i post it just keep it up just out of just pure laziness so if something doesn't look right let's just say it's your skin you can go into maybe the contrast tool and just you know tweak the contrast just a little bit to where your skin looks back to its normal shade same with vibrance same with sharpening if it's a little bit too gritty and because all of the other elements are still there like the texture you don't mess with the texture the clarity you don't mess with the clarity the color hues you don't mess with those 
um you know the vibe will still be there and you can still use that preset and you can still post the pic and everything about the picture will actually still look right so use presets Presets, presets, presets. Now the next thing that y'all also learned this the hard way is to make sure that you're taking your pictures in similar locations. Not that it has to be the same location. You don't have to take a picture in a parking garage, every single picture. You don't have to take a picture in a restaurant, every single picture. You don't have to take a picture on, you know, a brick wall, every single picture. Um, but you wanna make sure that the vibe is there and that everything just goes together. So. I kind of have just so far have been just picking a place and taking pictures all around that place. So my nude and like brown series, I was in Tulum and I took all of my pictures around my Airbnb. So everything automatically has the same vibe. Um, my Sage series, I typically took my pictures around a nice hotel in my area along with like the hallway in my apartments and everything pretty much has the same vibe despite the filler pictures <laughs> but the black series i typically stayed in like parking garages um brick walls uh concrete walls that kind of vibe so everything has the same vibe so you just want to make sure that again all of these things together will pull in just just the perfect vibe and everything will just again look like one and that's the goal to have everything look like one until you change to the next series so where i messed up at was even though i took a picture on like a brick wall still still had on my all black the vibe was still there with the outfits the sun was out my whole black series it was like pretty gloomy outside it was really rainy like almost every day that i wanted to take my pictures and that's not really my thing, but I was just working with it because that's just what God gave me to work with on those days. But one particular day, the sun was out. And I love the sun. Like, I love how the sun hits my skin. So I'm like, ooh, my pictures going to come out fire. And they did. However, when I got to editing them, when I got to using my presets, that's where it all kind of just like was like, okay, mm -mm. <laughs> this, this is not going to work. And I know not to do this again. My skin was tinted because of the sun and it showed in my picture so like if you look close in this picture here which i know the average person is not looking that close paying that much attention to pictures but some people do some people actually just be all up in your picture what's, what's, what can i find wrong so <laughs> it's like half of my face like the face where the sun the side of my face where the sun wasn't really hitting it was like kind of like dull and like black with the preset like grayish kind of with the preset even like this whole side of my body and then like this whole kind of like section where the sun was hitting was like brown like a, a really like red kind of like brownish color and it's like damn my face looks like it's two different colors and it's like even even if I probably, I probably could have fixed it up a little bit better with tweaking the preset. It was just like, it still wouldn't have looked right because the whole background of my picture is black and like white and like, like basically like a blackish grayish kind of grunge feeling. Um, and it's like my whole outfit is black and then it's like my skin just looks like real ashy on one. It's just, it just, it just wouldn't have like, mm. I don't think it would have went well either way. So it's like, if you're gonna take your pictures in sunny places, take your pictures, all of your pictures in sunny places. If you're gonna take your pictures on like cool, gloomy days, take all your pictures on cool, gloomy days. If you're gonna take your pictures indoors, take all of your pictures indoors. If you're gonna take your pictures outside, take all of your pictures outside. Unless you can plan it out and like, you know, just somehow finesse, you know, know how to, unless you can just make a tie in all together. Like, I'm not saying like these are the rules, this is set in stone, but I'm just saying this is something that I realized and something that I plan to implement moving forward. And this will help you keep a aesthetically pleasing, cohesive Instagram page. Now let's get those brand deals on 2021, okay? All right. So, yes, you guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my tips and my tricks. Hope you learned something new. Um, if you have any tips or tricks that you want to share, please leave them down in the comment section below because, you know, we're all still learning here. 
also make sure that you like this video and you subscribe keep your notification bell turned on because y'all already know how youtube like to do it's up in its most stuck let's get it all 2021 roll to 100k baby bye